first things first, let's go get some gas. And then I'm gonna go wash the car right after that. Right now, 95 degrees here in Texas. Uh, we got this, you know, normal Texas weather. Kind of like, I guess you could say like a heat wave. So uh, it's supposed to go up to 97 or whatever. But I always tell people here in Texas, the heat is a dry heat. It is not a humid heat like how it was in New York City. So. Uh, you're surrounded by water out there, so it's more humidity out there, to be honest. And to me, it's just, it's a lot hotter. When it's like 95 or 97 degrees in New York, it's definitely hotter to me. But here in Texas, um, 95 degrees uh, doesn't feel so bad. All right, so pulling up here at my, uh, at my Shell gas station, and let's just see uh, what these gas prices are looking like. So far, so good here in Texas. Definitely some, some relief from what we had back in 2022 when gas prices were through the roof. So I get the uh, Shell V-Power here and it looks like it is, uh, regular is 374, which I cannot put in my car, but the Shell VTEC power, what I put in my car is, uh, I don't know where the sign is. All right, so I'm not on E, but I'm like uh, a quarter. Uh, above E so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up today and then wash the car when I'm done so let's go ahead and turn her off and fill her up plus and we are filling her up now from a quarter all right from a quarter it took 54 dollars and 40 cents so 54 40 to fill her up from a quarter so Genzilla supercharged washed up pretty good and just like that she's ready to go so one of the things that uh, I wanted to tell you guys if you still haven't put your order in for a Hellcat it's probably uh, at this point too late uh, they have in 2023 as you know the standard Hellcat is a jailbreak and they have these red eyes that are a jailbreak of course they started that in 2022 but in 2023 what they've done is they've changed the um, you know I guess you could say the lineup and they've made the standard Hellcat uh, they made it uh, a jailbreak all right and you'll just get the 717 which is what I have on my original uh, Daytona Hellcat that was created back in 2020 as far as uh, the upgrades I want what I should do is upgrade my drivetrain and upgrade uh, I may go to like a, uh, a brace for the differential so I can have that support um, that I need with the extra power so that's what I'm looking to do so as of now I still have not heard anything I don't think they have these pre-stage kits the stage one or the stage two kit available from direct connection for chargers just yet uh, at the date of this video today is June 11th I think or June 12th so but from what I'm hearing they are available for the challenges but not available for the chargers so uh, we're still waiting on that all right so please guys if you hear anything in the comment section below let me know if you have heard anything about these um, pre-stage kits for chargers not for challengers so challengers uh, from what I'm hearing are ready to go you can go to your uh, power broker dealer in, the, you know, in your area and you can get your challenger uh, pre-stage kit stage one or stage two but if I'm not mistaken they are not ready for chargers so if anyone knows anything about chargers maybe before me let me know in the, uh, in the comment section of this video or, or any other video that you may uh, come across of mine, but specifically uh, in this video, since uh, that's what this video is about. But just an update, uh, they are still not ready for chargers, uh, charger Hellcats.
so it's probably hard to see on camera, but on this vinyl, living in New York, it was the worst. Uh, looks like, um, I'm, I'm almost positive, Cat uh, got on this car and scratched his car when it was in the lot at the job that I worked at. So you probably can't see it, but there's a line right there. I'm gonna use this vinyl polisher that I just got from Amazon and see if I can get it out. And over here on this side, There's uh, some scuffs right here. You probably can't see it on camera. All right, so just closed my garage. This is it right here, vinyl cleaner and polish. Uh, let's just see how well this works. your naked eye but you cannot really see it um, on my display screen so um, yeah I don't know if I would recommend this product it was mainly here on the back and you know it does leave some residue if you don't clean it quickly I tried to go right behind it with some detail spray last night in my garage and here in the sunlight you can still kind of see that white film so um, I don't know I mean yeah I mean I don't know I would probably say overall it's a no it's a no with this product um, I don't think it worked uh, as good as I you know you know wanted it to work or you know as good as I thought it would work it was pretty bright outside so I got in my car where I can really see it's just too bright I can't really see my display Technically, you can see it on camera. It's these scratches or scuffs on the top of my car, like how I said, I think was from uh, these cats in this lot that I just cannot get rid of uh, for the years that I worked there. It was just infuriating me. Uh, you know, people feeding these cats and then, you know, they, they jump on your car and they damage your paint or they damage, you know, people like me that have their cars wrapped. You know, I just cannot get a break. I cannot catch a break in New York. Uh, now that I'm here in Texas, and my, my, my car is garage kept. Now I, I would be in a position to be to have that pristine look at all times for the most part because I take care of everything I have but it's like you know out of your control when your car is in some lot like that you know the main thing is is uh, uh, the product I don't feel worked that great um, so you know I wouldn't recommend it like I said you know I applied it how they said to apply it uh, circular motions this is vinyl so I'm trying to get these lines these scuffs it's supposed to be a buffer or like you know a restore or whatever you know and you know it just this product does not work that great so I mean if this is real vinyl that I have in my car and uh, this is a, a you know a product for vinyl it should work you know I don't know why it's not So make sure you are subscribed and make sure you have that bell turned on so you can receive all post notifications and I appreciate you guys.